Good morning, y'all. Well, it is day 85, and I am uh, leaving my tent spot back there at Falls Creek. Uh, slept good, and had that roaring sound like white noise from the creek all night, so that was kind of nice. Um, but, um, yeah, that was my night there. And didn't have to worry about any critters because I had my tent all battened up. And this morning, it is already 7.45 right now. And I am drenched in sweat, as you can see, right after that campsite. The first mile was straight uphill, so I got my workout in this morning, and it is so humid, and today is the day that it will go over 90 degrees, so it's going to be a hot day, and I'm trying to do 20 miles today, I'm trying to make it to a Quarry Gap shelter, and then the following day, tomorrow, I can make it to a hostel and uh, get cleaned up because <laughs> I it's been a hot and sweaty two day three days now and uh, I, I'm thinking I'm looking at the Iron Mansion Hostel which is supposedly haunted uh, with uh, a ghost in the attic and a ghost in the basement and they tend to fight each other, so you have to pick sides on which ghost team you're gonna be on. So I have to figure that out when I get there. Uh, but, pretty day, so let's get going. So today I'm walking through two parks. That's Old Forge Park and Caledonia State Park. And there's the remnants of an old iron furnace. The great Pennsylvania Congressman Thaddeus Stevens purchased this land and built the furnace, but the iron ore in the area was of poor quality and the furnace proved something of a flop. But he was such a fighter for the poor and he would not give up on the endeavor because he knew how many men would be unemployed and claimed he couldn't bear to abandon them. He was an icon that fought for reforms in education and finance, but was probably the fiercest abolitionist in Congress. In fact, his house in nearby Lancaster, Pennsylvania, as well as this furnace area, were stations on the Underground Railroad. He passed a bill to authorize black soldiers and a bill for the 13th Amendment outlawing slavery. 
In 1863, the Confederate Army stumbled upon the furnace while marching through South Mountain and during the Gettysburg Campaign. And when General Jubal Early learned who owned it, he ordered it to be put to the torch as revenge for Stevens' avid support against the South. Stevens wasn't phased and even said, If the government shall be reestablished over our whole territory and not a vestige of slavery is left, then I shall deem it a cheap purpose. What a life force he was. Hey y'all, <clears throat> so yeah, day 85 comes to an end, uh, it was a uh, scorcher, it was a hot day, yeah, it was every bit of 90 degrees I think I checked, and uh, so I was constantly stopping at every water source and making sure I had two bottles of water and putting in Gatorade, Propel powders, all that kind of stuff, so had three major uphill climbs uh, along with the heat. So yeah, 20 mile a day. But um, got here, I'm at a Quarry Gap shelter and it's full. There's a, some kind of Boy Scout troop here and there's, a, there's some section hikers. So the shelter's full, all the tent sites are full. I actually had to go kind of come out here and <laughs> 
find a spot in the woods. Uh, there's another person out here in the woods as well, and just happened to be two spots here. Uh, so also I'm starting to meet a lot of people who are doing what we call flip-flops. They're starting at Harper's Ferry and they went south. So I'm not seeing them anymore, obviously, but there are people in, that started Harper's Ferry that are going north. And obviously they're just starting. So I'm catching up to all of them because they're just, they don't have the trail legs yet. And so they're only doing six, seven, eight miles a day. And, um, but yeah, we saw uh, several things. I saw Forge Park, uh, saw uh, Chimney Rocks, and then um, <laughs> I crossed this road and on uh, the gut hooks on my app, it said that there was this uh, burger place down the road. I wasn't really thinking I was going to stop and get a burger, to be honest. But I started reading the comments about it, and they said it's not a burger place. It's now a barbecue place called South 65. The guy lives down in South Alabama on Interstate 65. And I was like, well, that sounds interesting. And every comment was a positive. So, yeah, I just got, when I got to that road, I walked down. It was only about a 10-minute walk and got to get some barbecue <laughs> And I drank two Gatorades and a Mountain Dew there and took one Gatorade out and drank it when I got here at the campsite. So, yeah, I was um, it was a good call to go down there and eat. And I don't have to cook here. And I got a lot of Gatorade back in me, so that's good. I always feel a little better when I get some electrolytes or whatever. And that's it. Just a hot day. Several climbs. 20 miles. Uh... But uh, making good progress, and I think tomorrow I'm going to try to make it to the Iron Mansions, I think that's it, Iron Mansions Hostel. So we'll see all about that tomorrow. But uh, yeah, another milestone, two milestones tomorrow. So stay tuned, and you'll get to see what those are. But again, thanks for watching, and uh, I'm going to be uh, turning in here early after i drink another liter or two of water so i'll see y'all in the morning night y'all bye bye